I completely forgot to make a vid of this. Um, this is uh, obviously a shoebox that I got in the mail, I oh, like two weeks ago, a little over a week ago maybe. And it's from my good friend KL Pokemon 1994. However, she has decided um, that she's no longer going to be collecting Pokemon. So she is, I think, either doing Naruto or Beyblade or one of, um, you know, something else that's, you know, similar. Um, but this is her new channel. Um, yeah, it must be Beyblade because um, it's BB Dark Wolf. And um, yeah, so originally KL Pokemon 1994. This is her new channel, so definitely go check her out and sub to her. Um, I'm not quite sure what to call this, um, because it's a combination of cards and just other Pokemon stuff, so it's kind of free Pokemon stuff by mail. And the note says, Computer 3 NCSU, you probably recognize a lot of this stuff, lol. Hope you like it, and I wish you luck on your Pokemon card collecting. Thanks for all the trades. Quite possibly the last FCBM. KL Pokemon 1994, new account, BD Dark Wolf. Um, so yeah, a few of this stuff, a little bit of stuff in here, um, she actually bought from me a long time ago. Um, like I think back when, when I was first going on to YouTube, because I remember sending a huge package of Pokemon stuff up to her. Um, she lives in Canada. Um, so she sent some of the um, things back, as well as a lot of other really cool Pokemon stuff. So, try to figure out how to do this. Because um, since the box is so big, I'm going to set it to the side. And then as I pull stuff out, um, I'll show them. So, first off, uh, right on top, we've got some comic books. And these, I believe, were originally mine. Um, so, The Electric Tale of Pikachu, uh, number four. And The Electric Tale of Pikachu, number three. Um, so, pretty cool old school Pokemon comics, uh, black and white. And, yeah, yeah, pretty old stuff. Um, I don't know if there's a copyright date on them or anything, but, uh, yeah, still pretty cool. Oh, here we go, 1995, 96, and 98, so this is pretty much back when um, Pokemon was first released. So we got that. Um, next up, we've got this, oh, there's stuff inside. Um, I kind of skimmed through this. Um, when it first came in, but there's so much stuff in here, I didn't really get a good look at it. So, first off, we've got this really cute little Pikachu bag. Um, and it's got, let's see, Pikachu on the top two. So, that's kind of cool. And inside, we had a note. It says, got this free from a trader, and I didn't know what to do with it. So, it is Pokemon Fire Red version. So, this is one that I don't have yet. Um, never played. Uh, so this is pretty cool. I'm curious to see if it works. Um, I know I was sent a Pokemon Silver, um, cartridge for free once, but the save feature didn't work. So it was fun to play for a little while, but as soon as you turned it off, um, <laughs> you, you lost everything that you had been doing. So this may be one just like that, but it'd be really cool if it actually worked. Um, or like the save feature worked. Um, either way, pretty cool. Uh, free thing. We also have a Pikachu pen, which is pretty cool, sitting on top of a Pokeball. Um, oh, it's not a pen, it's a stylus for the Nintendo DS. Because, yeah, it's just got the little tip there. And then it's got, um, yeah, in this part, I think. Oh no, it doesn't come off. But a uh, Pokemon on the band. And let's see. Oh, this is cool. Pokemon Diamond. Um, I have p the Pokemon Diamond cartridge, but I don't think I have the original case. So this is pretty cool, and it is complete. So we've got the cartridge, the, the instruction manual, um, all the, like the little advertising inserts. So this is really cool. Um, oh, and a lot of this stuff, so like, like the, the cart, like, if, if this works, actually, either way, I'll, I'm going to hang on to this, um, the, 
the game I'll probably keep. I know I definitely want to keep the case because I don't think I have that the this case. Um, the cartridge I might be willing to to flip. Uh, let's see what else we have. Um, so this is cool. This is from the black uh, little black and white Japanese ad. So it's got some pictures of some of the cards up there, and then we've got the starters and. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what this is advertising. Uh, maybe a set that they're coming out in? Like a card set? I think I have seen some uh, advertisements for tin promos with, with these guys um, featured on them. Uh, we've got some more little comics. So this I remember selling to her a long time ago. The Pokemon Player Complete Pocket Guide. And it's really cool because it goes through a lot of the, um, uh, like, these, these are all Japanese cards. And it gives the translations of them at the bottom. And then, let's see, then it lists all the other cards with what they do. Um, their attacks, weaknesses, resistance, trainers, supporters, um... Let's see, a stall deck, um, original list, which is kind of cool seeing what the Pokemon decks were like, you know, 10 years ago. And then a, a Blastoise deck, which is kind of cool. Yeah, man, running 24 water energy. It's insane. Um, cool, other, let's see, Haymaker deck. I remember hearing about that. Uh, let's see describing the rarity, a uh, little puzzle, that's kind of cool, um, more Japanese cards and their translations, and then a guide to, I think this is the original 150 Pokemon, so picture of them and then a little description about all of them. So really cool little pocket guide, um, this is kind of cool too, the top 10 card lists, um, which uh, for collectors, so one, you know, a uh, hundred dollars for first edition base at Charizard um, and then the best cards for tournaments so Hitmonchan was uh, which I think was in the Haymaker deck was the best at the time so that's pretty cool we've got the Electric Tail of Pikachu special signature edition uh, so I, I'm wondering if this is kind of combining uh, issues one through four all together so there's the signature of I'm guessing the, uh, this guy, Toshioru Ono, uh, who obviously did the comic. And this is red version, so I'm not quite sure what that means, but, yeah, all of this stuff, it's, you know, it's, it's old, so it's got some minor wear and tear to it, but it's still pretty cool. And there's some advertisements, some really cool advertisements in the back, even Dragon Ball Z. So, that's cool. cool. Uh, let's see what else we have in here. Um, I think these probably fell out of something. Got some um, fossil cards. And, ooh, this is cool. Sorry, I'm just trying to organize all this. A uh, Ultimate Handbook Updated Edition. So I've got one of the old ones where it goes through the first um, 150 Pokemon. And let me move this stuff so I have room to show. Um, so this is probably, I don't know how far this goes up to, um, probably probably goes up to what what's out there today. Um, let's see, Loudred, Lucario, Bamfy, Pelipper, Shiftry, oh, there's good old Venonat, um, Venusaur, Vespiquen, um, and there, oh, that's kind of cool, um, Legendary Lineup, so that's kind of interesting. So, and this is pretty much near mint and mint condition. Um, yeah, this really doesn't have much wear. Okay, here we go, over 490 Pokemon inside, so yeah, this is the newer, the newer one. Um, so that's cool. 
And here is the really awesome stuff. We've got a Neo, a Japanese Neo Genesis, uh, what I think was a uh, theme deck box. Yeah, because here's the list of um, the different cards that came in the deck. The damage counters, the coin. Which actually is still mint. Um, I'm going to hang on to this one, I think. Because um, that is a... Oh, I'm so tempted to actually punch these out and use them in tournaments. Because um, these look so much cooler than what we have. But I'll, I'll try and resist. Um, damage counters. Or not damage counters. Well, actually, they are used as damage counters. But those are damage counters, too. Um, and then, okay, these are just, uh, random cards. Sorry about the break, uh, ran out of memory with all of the openings that I've been doing recently. Although, I'll probably upload this before I upload any of the openings, just to get, you know, the, yeah. Okay, so, back to the random cards. Um, we've got a couple potions, a luxury ball, which is really cool. Uh, night Maintenance, which I really wish this was still legal. This is pretty cool. A sealed first edition Machamp. Um, I have a sealed one, but the seal on mine has um, started to rip. So I'm going to swap this out and put the other one I have up for trade. Uh, this, I don't remember if I have or not. A sealed Ancient Mew. Um, which I really wish they had flipped it around so you could actually see the Mew, because I think the Mew is pretty cool looking. Um, although the back is pretty cool looking too. But, um, still, a sealed one is awesome. Um, like I said, I don't think I have that one. And I know I don't have this. Um, and I'm so tempted to open this just to see if there's... I think it's just the Slowpoke. Um, but yeah, a sealed Japanese Slowpoke promo. Um... No idea what it's from, uh, where it's from. I might just put this up for trade um, while it's really cool. Um, trying to stick just to English cards. Just Japanese cards are so hard to collect because there's so many different promos. Um, so hit me up if you're interested about this one. Some um, A poison counter and a um, just a normal coin to flip. Um, still in their original seal. So that's really cool. Um, so that's what was in the um, Japanese Neo Destiny box. Now we've got some really cool things. A, um, I think this is Stormfront. Um, Diamond and Pearl Japanese Booster Box. So this is just, yeah, it's kind of cool to see the Japanese boxes because um, I've never opened one before. So we've got some of the featured cards there, the elements there, some more featured cards there, I'm sorry for the noise in the background, and then good old Reggie Gigas on the front with Deoxys and Metagross, and then inside it is stuffed with more cool stuff. So we've got um, some more cards in here, <coughs> sorry about that. See Pokeball, Meowth, Mankey, Pikachu, Paris. Looks like um, lots of old school jungle cards. It might even this might be a complete common and uncommon set of jungle. And yeah, if it's not complete, it is pretty close. So this is cool. Um, every now and then, people hit me up for complete sets, um, even of just common and uncommon. So. This will save me a lot of time, because, yeah, this looks like a complete set. So, that's cool. Um, from Jungle. And so, here's some from Fossil. So, the Jungle and Fossil cards are portrayed. Um, pl got plenty of those. These are cool, though. Um... I'm probably going to part with them just because, again, they're Japanese and I'm trying to stick to collecting more of English stuff, but are really cool. Oh, sorry, here's a few more. We've got a hollow Japanese Metagross. 
a hollow Japanese Regigigas, a hollow Japanese Luxray, and a non-hollow, but this is a rare, uh, Drapion. So these are all really cool. But yeah, I think I'm going to put all of them up for trade, because unfortunately you can't play um, with... You used to be able to play with other foreign language cards now, um, but they changed that around in the rulings. But still, these are really cool, and they all look to be like near mint mint condition. So that's even better. Uh, let's see, looks like we've got a lot of coins. Oh, here is the stand to an Entei figure, which I think I saw an Entei figure around here somewhere. Um, so I'll probably run across that soon. We got a Lugia coin. Um, this is a uh, Lugia metal coin. And a Pikachu coin. And this is probably a lot of stuff of the original stuff I sold to her. Um, oh, there's another coin. Oh, this is cool. It's got all the different element symbols on it. in there. So we've got, um, let's see, a bunch of different card lists. Um, yeah, Team Rocket, base set, um, more base set, goes up to Fossil and Jungle, so um, yeah, each of those are a little different. Well, these two I think are the same, but um, obviously that's featured in base two. I think this is, this features base through Jungle, um, and then this goes up to Team Rocket. Got a bunch of rule books, so advanced rule book version one, rules version two, another rules version two, rule book version three, rule book version three, advanced rule book version six, with Celebi on it. Um, so this I think, yeah, this came out in the Neo series. Um, a Japanese, which this probably went with that theme deck box. Um, Japanese uh, Neo rule book. So that's kind of cool to flip through. Oh, cool. More um, Japanese cards. So here is a Lost Remover. <laughs> um, Cynthia's Energy. Um, nice. Gengar Stormfront. Um, Goldeen. Dugong. Whalmer. Poliwag, Tyrogue, Volby, Roserade, nice, Hollow Japanese Magneton, Hollow Japanese Deoxys, another Hollow Japanese Regigigas, Hollow Japanese Probopass, Hollow Japanese Metagross, hey, English card, a uh, Hollow Hoot Hoot from uh, Heart Gold Soul Silver, Hollow Kingdra from um, Unleashed. Or Undaunted, one of the un one of the new ones. Scyther Reverse, Aeron Reverse, Dratini Reverse, Full Heal, Elm, Bill, Dual Ball, Plus Power, Ruins of Alf, Lightning Energy, one of the new ones, that's really cool. And a Japanese Tauros. So a good mixture of a lot of stuff. Uh, let's put those there. More cards. Man. Uh, let's see, this is English, Swallow Reverse, Unknown T Reverse, Houndor Reverse, Defender Reverse, Driftblim Japanese, Mischievous Japanese, Chimchow Japanese, um, Aeron Reverse English, Turtwig English, Barboach English, Pipluff English, Dunsparce, and these are all reverses, Gligar, Altaria C, Dugtrio, so a lot of, and a lot of these are rare too, the reverses, um, as well as the Japanese. All right, and I think all that's left in here, um, yeah, are wrappers. So this is cool. I, I like to collect some of the Japanese type wrappers. Um, so we've got a bunch of Reggie Gigas. Actually, they're all Reggie Gigas. Okay. So, plenty of Reggie Gigas wrappers. Sorry about the interruption. Um, so yeah, most of this stuff is going to be up for trade. Um, the Japanese box, however, I'm hanging on to this. This is just really cool, and I think it'll make a really nice addition to the wall. Mine's already off.
<coughs> sorry about that again. And the last thing, <coughs> sorry, just getting over a cold, uh, is this uh, Japanese, uh, I don't know if this is, which, it's one of the Diamond and Pearl series, but I don't know if this is, which one this is from. Um, Stormfront, maybe? Well, no, that one's, I thought that one was Stormfront. I don't know, because it's hard to say we get cards from different sets in. Um, like, their sets don't always match up with ours. So, then again, theirs also have different names, too. So, it's another Diamond and Pearl series. Oh, so here is the Entei figure. And so the stand was around here. Yeah, there's the stand. Um, and this is cool. I really want to try this out, too. Pokemon Pinball. Um, I've never had Pokemon Pinball before. I played it quite a few times um, when I would go to the orthodontist as a kid. Um, this is one of the games they always had in the waiting area. But um, never had my own. So this is really cool. I really hope it works. Also sent Pokemon Yellow, the special Pikachu edition. Be curious to see if this one works too. Um, this is one I do have though, so that's cool. And then we've got, um, oh, this was originally mine. A sealed pack of the, it's like a list of uh, the first 150 Pokemon. It came with the trading figures, so sealed one of that. And then a bunch of Tops cards. So this is a puzzle piece card, or actually... Looks like a lot of these are puzzle piece cards. Yeah, so they... Yeah, they somehow went together. Um, and then it formed a different puzzle on this side. So a lot of these top, the, these top cards... Um, well, I have a bunch of them. Um, I haven't seen these. So got some from the Orange Islands. Um, showing some of the different TV episodes. Um, that's a reverse one. And then some of the ones feature different Pokemon. Snorlax. Oh, that's a really cool looking Scyther. Uh, series 3 checklist. That's pretty cool. And so this, yeah, this may be one of the newer series. And some of the characters. Pikachu! Whew, so that's quite a bit of Topps cards. Um, okay, cool, we've got a, uh, old school from the base set too, um, player's mat. So it's got Snorlax on it, if my camera will focus. There we go. Um, Alakazam right there, and, let's see, there's stuff on the back as well. Yeah, it's another one on the back. So the back one features Raichu, and the back one features, um, tells a little bit more about how to set up and play and gives a little more information. Let's see, we've also got the Starter Rules version 1 information book. Yeah, I think this came with, uh, there was like a trainer starter kit, so this came with that. Um... Some more Japanese packs, another Reggie Gigas, and one with uh, Shaman on it that goes to this box. Um, okay, so these are Pokemon Global Link. Um, cool, so this is some of the stuff that was coming out for Black and White in Japan. Some of the different card promos. That's kind of creepy. And then a couple more of the sets. And there's that guy again. And perhaps his kid. 
Um, so I've actually got two of these. So that's pretty cool. And then looks like more booster wrappers. So we've got lots more of the Reggie Gigas ones. And then the other half are all of the Shaman ones. With uh oh and Jaretina's in the background too. So with a lot of other Pokemon. So um, this is definitely an epic FCB FCBM from KL Pokemon 1994, whose new channel is uh, BD Dark Wolf. Definitely go check her out and sub to her. Um, sad to see her leaving the Pokemon community, but I really appreciate this, and I hope it gets you a lot of subs. And um, yeah, so like I said, some of the stuff is up for trade, some of the stuff isn't, like you know the deck boxes. Um, yeah, so yeah, just kind of. PM me for if you're interested in something, um, and I'll let you know what's available and what's not. But overall, this is just an awesome, I guess it's FS by M, you know, free stuff by M, but there are more cards in here too. There's just so many different things. I mean, it was kind of a nice little um, collection of everything Pokemon. So really appreciate it, KL Pokemon 1994, and thank you again so much, and thanks to everyone for watching.